हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी हैव टू डिस्कस द क्रिच ऑफ रूल्स तो देर आर टू रूल्स ऑफ क्रिच ऑफ इन विच द फर्स्ट रूल फर्स्ट लॉ इज नोन एज जंक्शन रूल widely used in uh, solving the problems of the circuits this rule states that suppose we have electric circuit and there is a junction where a lot of wires are meeting at a place like this suppose at point e o such wires are meeting and here the currents आर आई वन आई टू आई थ्री आई फोर एंड आई फाइव देन द फर्स्ट रूल स्टेट्स दैट द जवाइक सम ऑफ द करेंट्स एट एनी जंक्शन इज जीरो तो इन सिंबोलिक फॉर्म वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट इट बाई सिग्मा आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो Now the algebraic sum means that we have to take the currents with sign. So here we can see that O is the junction point. So the currents going towards the junction will be taken as the positive, and the currents leaving the junction will be taken as negative currents. So the I one is going towards the junction, so that will be taken as positive. Similarly. I two is going towards the junction that will be taken as positive. I three is leaving the junction that will be taken as negative. I four is leaving the junction that will be taken as negative. I five is going towards the junction so that will be taken as positive. And this sum is equal to zero. Now, if we take the positive terms at one side, then we can get I one plus I two plus I five. Is equal to I three plus I four, so we can also say that sum of all the currents going towards the junction is equal to the sum of the currents leaving the junction. So they, it can also be written as total incoming current. is equal to total outgoing current so this law is widely used in solving the problems of the circuits the so first law is known as the junction rule now the second law second law is known as the loop rule second law is known as the loop rule loop rule says that algebraic sum of the emfs in any loop of a circuit is equal to the sum of the products of currents and resistances in it so we can write it sigma e is equal to sigma ir or one more ways to represent is that sigma delta v is zero so both are the statements for the loop rule and one thing is remarkable that the direction of e will be taken as positive if in a circuit we are going from negative to positive so e will be taken as positive similarly if we are going from positive to negative like this then e will be taken as negative we can see the above two laws with the help of example it is a circuit diagram and here we can write the equations with the help of these two laws first law at we can apply junction rule at point p i3 is going outwards and i1 and i3 towards the junction so i3 will be equal to i2 plus i1 so it is the first equation similarly sigma e is sigma ir so here 20 is the resistance and current is i2 so 20 i2 Plus twenty i three, and we are going from negative to positive, so that will be plus five. 